Minecraft mean to you? It is expected that you would have a lot of memories with your Minecraft account and hold sentimental value with your username and when you created your account. Stuff all that. We're gonna do something even better. Today I'm going to be showing you and explaining how to make your Minecraft more expensive and valued within the community. By the way, just so Mojang doesn't come down to my house and take 12 apples from my Minecraft base. And then hold me at gunpoint with a sword <laughs> pounding my head. Uh, let me just rephrase this. Uh, i got to tell you this. Something being expensive or valued don't mean shiny dollar dudes. Buying and selling accounts is against Minecraft TOS and the ULAA. When I say expensive, I mean more valued. Something that would be apart from someone else. Now, which capes and which certain capes and free capes can make your account a little more valuable? Now, to which capes give you certain more speciality? Around about five, there is the Cherry Blossom, the Vanilla Cape, and the three new ones, which are the Twitch, Followers, and also the normal giveaway one for 15th anniversary. Now, with these capes, they were all free, but you had to do certain things in order to obtain them. Number one was either having Minecraft and also Minecraft Bedrock, which was for the vanilla cape, which is pretty clean in my opinion. Uh, you also had the Cherry Blossom cape, which you had to join a mob uh, server and vote for a mob. Now this is probably going to be a yearly thing ongoing since there's only been one so far, but why would they stop with one? Next is the followers cape. This cape claimed by watching a TikTok stream during the 15th anniversary setup, which was a few months back. Next would be the followers cape, which you had to watch a TikTok live stream during the 15th anniversary setup. This was very easy to acquire, but the issue is, is that some of the codes were region locked, so people couldn't get the things, which was a mistake. This has to be one of the coolest capes, in my opinion, as it's legit just a black creeper with like lines and stuff. It's pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. I rate this one, bro, it's so cool. The 15th anniversary green creeper cape. This is a remix of the 2011 cape, which was a Minecon cape. This cape, everyone has it. 163,000 uh, players have this, so it's not that rare, but it's decent. If you have every single one of these capes, which I'm pretty sure I might be missing one, but if you have every single one of these free capes on your account and you have them all, like all of them, they're not on separate accounts, they're on the one account, this would set your account at a probably decent status on a tier list. This would be a B. Holy <laughs> Names. Usernames. It's basically the same thing. It's just if anyone gets confused. Names are the characters that set you apart from everyone else. If you have a long name, no one cares. Everyone just makes fun of you. They think, wow, you're that type of guy where you I can't even top up your name into a party chat, right? How annoying is that? But if you have a three letter, a three letter, one, two, three, those set you apart. Any normal word, like for example, frisk, F-R-I-S-K, that is a decent normal word, is accounted as a, a good username. Like I'm talking like good, that is clean, but most people go for is the four letters. For example, my name is Tuao. Now that's actually a country in China or something, but I made that up. Now that is considered to be a decent name. It's not too long, it's not too short, it's just in the middle, four characters, it's even. That is really good. But there are accounts out there with two letter names, which is for example, 07, that is a real name, HY, which is a real account. Some of these, you can't have these names anymore. These names have been canceled out. They have been thrown into the trash. If you try and make your name this, it won't let you. That's how old it is. This is using old system data back in 2010. That's when people can create their names like that because they didn't have any limitations. There were even accounts with the N word. I'm not even joking. Search that up on net, you'll see. There are, little, there are literally names of swear words that people used to have. It was that bad. Some people get to keep these names, like I, I can put one up on screen now, this is like clapped 100% man, I, I, I don't even know, like imagine saying that in chat, or partying that guy, that's just nuts, I, I don't know who he is, but that guy is crazy, anyway, names set you apart from other people, if you have a three letter, 
that is amazing. And if you have a three letter with capes, and you have all the cool capes that are free, now that is something special. Anything with a four letter, that is something special, but it has to be a good four letter. Before we start this section, can you please subscribe and hit the like button, that would be much appreciated. I make these videos for fun whenever the hell I'm bored. And this one's currently took me about maybe three days to edit. Um, it's now the 13th, I started editing this on the 12th, what was it, 10th. I'm trying really, really hard to edit and give good information, so it would be much appreciated. Thank you. Now on to the next one. Yes, I forgot to mention, there are Minecon capes. I have one myself, I don't know how I didn't mention this before, but everyone knows about Minecon capes, so I don't think that should be on there, but still, if you have our account has Minecon cape, that itself is pretty cool. Now, um, if we're going to go on for the most rarest accounts that have every cape, we, there is only three that come to mind. Number one is the demon himself, Mark. This guy is a Mojang developer and he has every single cape, even the rare ones like scrolls cobalt mojang developer these ones you can't even get these ones in themselves are like 10 times as rare he's got the 2011 he's got the 2012 the 20, he's got all the icons and all the new ones and then there's also another guy and his name is ant venom it's ant venom himself he's tied actually with mark i'm pretty sure since you can't get these these are all mojang developed these three here these two are from prizes that from different games that they used to create, Mojang, so you can't, but Ant Venom has all the ones you could have gotten. He has a 2011, 2012, 2013, 2015, 2016, the MCC cape, followers, Twitch, Cherry Blossom, Vanilla, Creeper, and he's also got the Migrator. So if I would have to say which the rarest account would be, in the world, might I add, in the world, Mark or Ant Venom? I'm also looking at this guy right now. He's missing two capes from Minecon, but he nearly has them all as an action. So that's pretty awesome too. So if I would have to say the top three accounts that are rarest right now, I just keep finding more and more, man. I found another one, Nimble. This guy has 2012, 2013, 2015, 2016, and all the other ones. He's just missing 2011. So he has every single one of the Minecon capes besides 2011. He also, ha and then you've got Ant Venom, and Zenection and Mark. Mark being number one in the world. All right. So what if I if I had to put in a one of one most expensive account in the world with every single cape that makes him rare would have to be Mark as the top tier, and the lowest tier as the lowest lowest. I would have to put Nimble, since they basically got every single cape besides the 2011 that is free. So yeah, that was another episode, guys. I hope you guys are happy with this video. I've been editing for so very long. Um, I had it going a certain direction, and I think I swayed from it. But that's what we do with this channel. We learn, and we get better over time. So yeah, anyway, yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Laters.